And I feel like the crop of reporters that were here at that time, it was uh, nothing against reporters before that or after that, but it felt like just sort of like the glory days of News Center because there was you. Well, I'm, I'm biased. <laughs> we had a really special group during that time and it didn't matter what station you were working for, we all had each other's backs and I still keep in touch with a lot of those people today. I mean, there's an ongoing text thread with people like Amanda Hill and Sarah DeLage and Melissa Kim and that is always blowing up my phone. <laughs> and I thought that was the coolest thing because you, you all clearly get along and you all clearly learn from not only each other but also New Center I think is sort of rare in that uh, the, the anchors and reporters that have been there for years and in some cases decades um, really are able to pass on the knowledge that they have to, to people that were coming in new and fresh. At least that's what I, what I feel like I see. Is that an accurate portrayal? Oh, absolutely. I mean, to work with people like Pat Callahan and Rob Caldwell and Lee Nelson and Cindy Williams, Sharon Rose, it was just um, to be there in your mid-20s and to be learning from these greats who could have gone anywhere they wanted to but chose to stay in Portland, Maine for obvious reasons or Bangor, Maine for obvious reasons because Maine's so great. It was a privilege. I I'll never forget that time. Did you hear Lee Nelson's a model now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't give him any crap for that, I promise. <laughs> we gave him lots of crap too, but he probably didn't know about it. Um, oh, so, uh excellent. No, good for him. <laughs> Yes, good, good for him, him. and, and uh, you know, healthy living is, is great, um, so I'll uh, not give him any crap right now. But, um, but how also, do you feel about the competition with the male modeling landscape now? I mean, one more person in, to compete with in your field, Dan. Yes, but I, um, let's just say I'm unique in the assets that I bring. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Why does he have so many lumps? Um, <clears throat> sorry, that... <laughs> Too far. <laughs> so you left Maine, you went to San Francisco, California, and I believe I have this story correct, but correct me if I'm wrong. You didn't go out there to do news, but then one of the TV stations <laughs> in one of the largest markets in the country contacted you. Is that correct? Yes, that, um, that sounds way cooler than it is. But <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. Um, I was ready to leave news on a high note with Maine and I was trying to get into social media marketing. I was actually working for a microbrewery, doing a lot of digital content for them. And uh, KPIX5, the CBS affiliate out here, contacted me via Facebook. And I ended up being a reporter there. I made, was a staff reporter there for almost five years and just recently left to do what I intended to do five years ago, which is more digital marketing and stuff like that. That's incredible, and it's, I think it's a testament to your work. They contacted you through Facebook, though. Was, it, did, was there like a, a, a like random choose-your-own-reporter thing, or did they actually do some research into, into your past <laughs> and said, day, wow, this person's here? <laughs> to this day, I don't really understand. I had a few people I knew in that newsroom. Frank Malicote, who was a big name in the Boston, New Hampshire markets, for years was at the station at the time. And I knew Frank because he's a friend of Lee Goldberg's. And um, I don't know if he ended up dropping my name to the assistant news director, or, or I still have no idea. But um, the assistant news director is the one who messaged me and asked if I wanted to freelance a couple days a week. And I didn't realize that, mean, that meant every week. Um, so it went from two days to three days to full time and staff. It was, it was a great experience.